Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformers Legacy United Leader Class Sandstorm. You can see him there in front of his box. We'll go ahead and put it off the side real quick. And yes, this is a leader box because he is a leader figure. Of course, you can see there you got Lance Sandstorm with his uh, buggy mode there. And then up top, up a little bit higher above the window, you can see the helicopter mode right there. You can touch Transformers in three and one and Leader Class Sandstorm, triple G1 Triple Changer Sandstorm. And up top here, you have Legacy United. On the side, you have a, you know his robot mode and a close-up of his face right there, which is not the cartoon face, much to some people's chagrin. On this side, of course, you have the uh, half of the line wide artwork, including the 40 years, 40th anniversary logo. On the bottom, of course, you have product information, what's included, all that stuff. And on the back, you have co copyrights and pro warnings and, uh, well, some product shots, including all three of his modes. So there you go. And of course, there's instructions, which are not too bad for the most part. There are definitely a couple things where it's like, uh, oh, okay, I get it. You know, that sort of thing. It's like, huh? Oh, okay, I get it. But. Nothing too bad on that front. So, Sandstorm. Yes, the new Sandstorm that's yeah, coming out right now. Uh, you know, popping up in stores and whatnot and online. Bit of a cuff. Once again, the whole, you know, he, why is he leader class? Blah, blah, blah. He shouldn't be, he should only be a Voyager. Da, da, but, you know, he's actually pretty dense. You can, you know, see, you know, all that stuff. But, yeah, he's a leader class, and it seems like every triple changer from here on out will be a leader class. So, uh, you know, get used to it, or, you know, stop buying triple changers, or wait for them to go on sale, whatever you have to do, but yeah. Um, but getting in close real quick. Yeah, again, like I said, he's got the more toy-ish head sculpt instead of the cartoon one, which got a lot of people upset. I do not mind it. I think that looks cool. Part of it is actually because it kind of reminds me of a Scorpion from Metal Mortal Kombat, so, you know... There's that, and I add, add in another accessory, and you kind of really feel feel it. But yeah, you got the, a lot of oranges, different shades of orange. You know, you know, more kind of more reddish orange, more yellowish orange. Uh, uh, you know, some de detailing the Autobot simply got a bit of silver and gunmetal right here. You got the venting and all that stuff. And that's more orange, and of course, blacks and grays going down and whatnot. And so it's the silver, more orange and yellow, and wheels. Um, you got a backpack, but that's kind of how he's supposed to. He's supposed to have a backpack. He's always had one, so it's kind of a thing. Kind of think of a rucksack, I guess, considering the doom buggy thing. His legs are weird because they're not hollow. Oh, that was down. They're not hollow, but, like, they look hollow. Because, like, if you look at the thickness of, the, you know, the thighs, and you got that, and then, well, the, the part that's, you know, the leg, you can see right here, it's actually not hollow. You know, you can see right there. It's actually not hollow at all because that's the leg and that's pretty solid. But, you know, because of the how far back these sit, they look kind of weirdly hollow. So it's kind of that weird thing going on. But, you know, optical illusions. So he's not, he doesn't have hollow legs, just kind of looks like he does. But, yeah. Overall, I think he looks really great. He looks like a really solid sandstorm. You know, some people might be upset over the the, the, the head being the wrong one, so so to speak. But I just like how this head looks. I genuinely like it and everything. I just like the the mask and everything. I think it looks great. Um, yeah, they may come out with a variant later that has the proper cartoon head for some people, but yeah, it you know that's just kind of how it is. Also, these tires are uh, same thing they did with Beachcomber, so you know got the kind of that it's PVC kind of softer, rubbery or plastic, not quite rubber, but you know softer and they kind of tire like. Uh, of course, he has a couple accessories, like a rifle, you know. Cast in black, you can see that. Looks decent. Of course, can hold that, no problem. He also has a couple pegs on him. He's got this little, like, gun right here. It's cast in gray, which, you know, you can hold in his hand if you want, like that. Or you can, you know, mount it, as they say in the, the instructions and whatnot, to mount it on the side of the arm, although they want it on that side because, you know, they like to have things left handed. Of course, there's peg holes back here, so you know, if you want to store things away, you know, have them hold it, you can. These peg holes right here, you know, you can have them gun, store the gun away or whatever you, what have you, if you want. There's plenty of room back there. And of course, you can also mount this on the arm if you want or whatever. Do that. He also comes with a uh, little, uh, this little thing right here, which, hey, look, it's a grapply hook thingy, which, you know, you can hold this, you know, by that peg. And hey, look, comes with a little, there's a cage here, which, you know, comes can, can come in two pieces. There's, a, there's actually a specific way to attach this. If you look, uh, if you look at the um, bars here, you can see they're slightly offset from one another. I'm not sure how that comes across, but they are slightly offset, and the divots in here are slightly offset. So you just got to line those up. Basically, the side here with the tabs on the side—that's the side that goes with this extra bar that's on the 
cage. It's pretty. It's it's uh, not too difficult to you know line it up. If it doesn't fit one way, just flip it around. If it still doesn't fit, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but yeah, you got that, and of course this can uh, peg into the top of the cage right there. Now he's like a little cage he can hold, you know. And also, yeah, this is an actual working thing, so you can fully extend it out. And again, you know, the, the again considering you know, like I said before, the scorpion looking face sculpt you have this and hey look it's like a claw thing you know get over here and all that stuff so you know there's that i i think that's pretty neat personally uh don't get like you know string on these you know kind of thing you don't really you know get like string and working uh winch wheels or pulleys or anything or winches or whatever you don't get this usually so it's pretty cool to actually have it oh, I can... of course the problem is winding it <laughs> can take a while because, you know, there's a lot of string there, but there you go. But thankfully, there's a little grippy bits so you can actually get it wound up, and there you go. So there's your accessories and the storage and all that stuff. Um, yeah, pretty good. Um, one thing I will com also com comment on is the chest here. Um, on, this is unfortunately minus affected, but the chest for a lot of people does not tab in fully. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but it's kind of hard to tell. But this side is not fully tabbed in. I can see I can push on it. And then it undoes itself. It's I'm not sure what exactly causes that, but it's apparently it's a very hit and miss issue. But something someone claims it's this this hinge right here, but I'm not sure if that's the case or not. But regardless, um, mine doesn't fully tab in. It taps on one side just fine, but won't tab in on this on the this uh, his right. But it's not like hugely affecting the figure in any real way. It's mostly just a minor annoyance if you're aware of it, but. He still looks good and he still works correctly. So, yeah. oh yeah, this thing is removable as well. This was this was packaged separately, but yeah, that just pegs in. That's supposed to stay up there. Yes, he's supposed to have a little thing hanging over his head. Just you know, yeah. The backpack may bother some people, but it is accurate to the source material. So you know, it's one of those things. You just if you don't like it, that means you just don't like how the character looks as a whole. So you know. <laughs> There you go. But um, posability, his head is on a ball joint. It's kind of hard to get your finger, my finger, at least for me personally, it's hard to get my, get my, get me, bleh, for me to get my fingers in here, but you can left and right, you know, there is a little bit of up and down. There's also the platform it's on. He does technically can waggle, or at least he should be able to, but he can't, I see, it's it's so minute that it's barely there, if it is there at all. But it is a ball joint, double check that, so I'm not sure what that's about, but shoulders can do a full 360, except for the backpack getting in the way. They can go outward, you know, that far. There's a bicep swivel right there. There's a double jointed elbow. You know, you get that much curl. There are wrist swivels, which is nice. There's a waist swivel, although that's really limited thanks to the backpack. You know, it's only, it's only, you know, that much is, you know, I think enough for a lot of poses, but I kind of wish there was a couple degrees more, but not the end of the world, but it is a little disappointing that that's the case, but I can kind of understand why it's the, that's the fake case. Um, hips go forward that far, you know, pretty good distance. Again, back is limited by that, but you know, it's not too bad. Outward, you have pretty much the full splits. You do have a thigh swivel. Knees are about 90 degrees, thereabouts. Actually, maybe a little less than 90 degrees. Um, ankles, you do have quite a bit of ankle tilt. You have a uh, back on that foot, but not really forward. And the heel spur can go down as well if you need that for any sort of, sort of support thing. So there you go on that. Yeah, so his posability is mostly, the, you know, good in there, but, you know, there are definitely a couple limitations here there. And also mine, weirdly enough, the hips are really stiff. Not, like, worryingly so, but they're just, like, there's a lot of friction there. I don't know why. A lot of the joints have a good amount of friction, which is good, I guess, but still kind of like, wow, it's like they have that thing, of course, you know, right next to a looser joint. So, of course, the loose joint wants to move and not the tight joint. But yeah, not too bad overall. So, uh, do some quick comparisons. Uh, yeah, why not? You know, some triple changers. Here's Siege Springer. About the same height. There's that. Apparently we're getting a new Studio Series Springer, so I'm interested to see how that works out. Oh, why not? Here's the guy he piled around with in the G1 cartoon a lot. Here's Octane, although it's a Titan Return version, so a little out of date now, but... He's also a bit taller, but eh, I think he was taller in this cartoon anyway, which sense because, I mean, considering he turns into a uh, passenger jet. 
And here's Legacy Blitzwing. Another triple changer. And again, roughly the same height. Actually, Blitzwing's a smidge taller. And of course, because he's a line wide standard, here is Earthrise Optimus. He's about a head taller, so there you go. Or at least a head to head, anyway. So there's that. Now, Transformation, he is a triple changer. So we're first gonna go into dune buggy mode, then helicopter mode. So yeah, first of course, you wanna take all the accessories and you wanna take those off, uh, just get those out of the way. Just can't get those all out of the way for now. Now, here at the uh, forearms, what you wanna do is open those up right there and rotate the fist inward, close that back up. And then right here, use the double jointed elbows and you wanna collapse that up like that. Same thing on this side. Open up the fist. Don't pull that away. Yeah, yeah, not yet anyway. Open up the forearm. Rotate the fist. Close up the forearm. And then, of course, collapse the arm like that. Now, down here at the legs, what you want to do is we'll make sure to straighten out the feet and stuff. And then tab the legs together. You want to make sure it's all tabbed together like that. And also take the, the heels and rotate them forward like this and then rotate them down, the feet down like that, so they look like that. Now I also want to take these bits right here and move those forward right here, just do that right now. Now then right here, we want to untab the chest piece and you want to bring this down. You want to bring this down also, and also slide the legs up. I almost, I almost forget about this part. You got to slide the legs up. Yeah, there's a slider. I'm not sure how well that's going to last over time because I thought they abandoned sliders, but. I slide it, make sure it clicks all the way into place, and then bring this down. There's little tabs right here on the windshield, just go into little slots on the legs right there. And also make sure to extend the, yeah, bring, extend this gray piece out as well. So that I can tell tab in. And then right here at the arms, you, they untab from the sides here, and there's tabs right here on the end of the arm, which will go into little slots right there. Not sure what that'll come across, but yeah. Make sure that's all squared away and make sure, you know, untab that to bring it down and then tab this in right there, like so. Make sure it's like that. So right here, what you want to do is take the head here and this will you'll flip this back like that and then rotate this all the way down. And this will come this will come down and these right here, these will peg into the bottom of this little engine thing right there. Like so well, it's supposed to. Mine can be a little stubborn. There we go. Lined it up properly. Like so. And then right here, you want to take this right here, this little bit. You want to take the helicopter tail piece and flip that out like that. It's kind of, kind of a bit of a spoiler of sorts. And then the accessories, the cool thing is these can all store away pretty easily in multiple places. Uh, this The gray gun can uh, store right here. Again, the forearm just kind of store away like that. The... Uh, this bit, you know, you unplug this from the top of the cage. Got to make sure it's all wound up, right? Make sure it's all wound up like so. And then you can plug that in right here, like so. Plug that in. And you separate the, the bottom, the base of the cage from the bars. The cage goes over top. See, there's a little there's a spot here for the uh, side of the bars. Just bring this over top. Like so, like that. Just bring it down. That. This thing actually can just store down here. If you look, there's a peg here and there's little slots right here. I don't know how it's going to come up, show up, but there's little slots right there. And that's peg, that peg right there. And just kind of bring this in and just, you know, peg it on and tab it in like there, like that. And then the gun here, if you want, you could bring it here and just kind of peg it right there. And uh, there you go. That is the dune buggy mode. All right. So, in the dune buggy mode here, um, it's kind of, it's kind of like a little bit compromised. You can see a bunch of stuff just kind of, particularly the back end. The front end actually doesn't look too bad, you know, all things considered. Maybe the scale might be a little, I mean, not, proportions might be a little odd, but, you know, overall the front end looks pretty good. But, yeah, the back end is, like, pretty clear. Like, there's a helicopter chilling out under here, right? Um, they try their best, but, you know, this kind of, these kind of look like tail lights and stuff. But, like, yeah, it's clearly, like, you know, there's got the engine and stuff. You know, you got the engine, which... Sitting, bar. yeah. You got the engine and stuff. You got the, you know, this all. You got the kind of netting mold, molded in there. You got the windshield, all that. But, you know, and the headlights. But, you know, like, 
it does it kind of has that whole third you know triple party or triple changer compromise thing going on I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, this is kind of like a kind of sad, pathetic excuse for a spoiler. But if you look at the original G1 uh, Dune buggy mode, holy crap. <laughs> this thing is loads better than that. But, you know, overall, it's not too bad. And also, again, most of the weapon storage is or all the accessory storage is pretty nice. The only thing right here is the gun. I wish there. Well, you can kind of store this away a little bit, I guess. Um, maybe. Let me see if there's enough room. Yeah, 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 kind of. Yeah, I wish there was a bit of a better place to store this, but as it is, there's really not um, any real way to store this gun, particularly. So, well, maybe. Seeing if there's enough. If that's No, there's not enough clearance. Dang, man, yeah. It's pretty much the only place to really store, cleanly store it is on top here, which is the only thing I'm disappointed with. Every other accessory actually stores pretty well, all things considered. And everything and he also like of course he rolls really well really well considering the cl ground clearance and everything yeah um it's kind of compromised but in a way that's kind of like yeah, i expect that for a triple change i don't really expect triple changers to be perfect in every mode although again some of them become really close particularly the high-end ones but you know it's not bad but you know it definitely has its faults it, it definitely has its faults the back end in particular looks kind of messy but i don't mind it I actually kind of like it a, de a decent amount, so you know, there you go. You can see what you know, you can see what it is, and it looks pretty all right considering you know it has a whole third mode it has to do. But yeah, um, some comparisons again, real quick. Here's Springer in his uh, vehicle ground mode, I guess. Is that which? Well, yeah, it's Springer's ground mode, which looks like nothing. <laughs> Here's Octane in the ground mode. Which, yeah, wildly out of scale. But, yeah. Also very lightweight compared to the other crap. Uh, here's Blitzwing. Legacy Blitzwing. In the tank mode. And here's the Earthrise Optimus. Just to give you an idea there. Again, wildly out of scale, but, you know, alt modes are almost never in scale. So, yeah. Uh, decent... I think it's a decent dune buggy, but yeah, the back end is definitely heavily compromised because of the alt mode. Also, this does not want to clip in. There we go. Yeah, that keeps on clipping itself. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely compromised for the sake of the third mode, but it's not awful like a lot of people like to say it is. Again, I feel like a lot of people have that whole binary scale when it comes to quality. It's either the worst thing ever or the best thing ever. So no new, no room for nuance. And yeah, it, it's it's an all right Dune Dragon mode with definitely some significant compromise. So uh, there you go. But um, transformation again into the helicopter mode. Of course, you're getting the gun off, get the cage off, which it goes in there real secure. There we go. Jeez, get that all off there. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm already undoing stuff. I don't want to do yet. Undo yet. And of course, get the gun out off of here and this platform right here can you know, untabbing and unpegging that and get those all out of the way for now now to uh get into helicopter mode first get this and uh close that back up right there now let's see what's the next thing you want to do you want to undo these tabs right here you want to undo those from that and bring those back up right there and undo that and bring that back up right there. You want to unpeg the engine block right there and bring that back out. You want to bring the head back out right here. And, you know, you want to then untab the the canopy, or not canopy, yeah, the, the cockpit thing right there. You want to untab that. You want to fold the windshield in like that right here. And you want to go back to this. You want to go back. You want to go, don't want to go back to robot mode. You want to keep pushing all the way down like that. Then bring this back and kind of up and over a little bit and uh, yeah, Come on. bring this back and up and over a little bit, a little bit like that. Kind of, it's gonna be sitting kind of like this. Yeah, it's gonna be sitting a little bit like that, like that. Yeah. So you got that. Now, down here at the legs, and actually getting this out of the way a little bit to make this a little easier to see, you, know, you want to straighten these back out right here. And you want to bring these around. 
like that. You want to bring these up and around like this. Untab the wheels right here. And one of the wheels you want to bring it, go ahead and, um, let's see which one, bring it up and yeah, we rotate it around and bring it up like this and bring it around and see the, the, the little, I guess, faux spring bits, there's little tabs right here, which go in little notches right here. And the wheel will just kind of sit right there and the other wheel you'll, yeah, again, untab it and rotate it around and bring it like around like this. And then also the same thing, the notch that will notch in right there. And that will just kind of sit like that more or less. And it'll sit, sit kind of like that. Remember, you actually want to make sure it's in this, this, this is the orientation. You want to make sure those are in, you know, with, um, which side would that be in the helicopter mode? The right side. Yeah. You can see, yeah, you're looking at it like this side, you, you're looking at it from this angle. You want this side's wheel to be down here and this side's wheel to be up here. The other way around, it kind of messes things up. Anyway, you want to bring this whole, bring this back down like this and again, make sure that stays up. I want to bring this back down and right here and this right here, there's tabs right here, which will go into slots on the legs right there and right here like that. Like so. Let's also make sure that stays all straightened out. Now here on the backpack, what you want to do is these, you want to bring these down right here, these bits right here. And then you want to go ahead and untab these side bits right there. You want to untab those, bring them out to the side and then rotate these bits around 180 right there and there like that and then bring it all the way down make sure there's double hinge here make sure it goes out all the way down on the hinge and there's a little notch here which is going to go over this tab right here on the chest pete right piece right there make sure it goes all the way down because if it's yeah if it doesn't if it doesn't go bend down on all the hinges it's gonna not sit correctly and then you can always of course bring these and tab these together like that now up here what you want to do is un bring this back like this you want to unclip helicopter blades and slide the rotor up right like that you want to do that rotate this this way bring this back and around just enough so that you know in such a way that this can you know go through that gap then rotate it back this way so you can finish you know straighten this out and make sure to bring this up through as well bring this up through and straighten this out and bring this down this will tab in and everything just Give it for good firm solid push bring this forward and this will tab into the back right there close this up like that perform the top of the helicopter and then you want to go ahead and take these these bits the rotors and just kind of separate them out yeah they'll kind of right this you, you see they kind of there's kind of peg into each other you just kind of they'll click into place like that and just make sure to give your give it give him four rotors And uh, we'll do the accessories in a little bit, but yeah, there's the uh, pretty much that is the helicopter mode. All right, so sandstorms helicopter mode. I this is the mode I think is better of the two. There's uh, some compromise you can see you know, if you look at the bottom, you can see I just see you know tires and stuff and whatnot, but you know what? Overall, for the most part, he looks pretty good in this mode. You know, they also got this bit in the back, but you know. He actually looks pretty good in this mode. You know, this, you know, this spins, but not free, super freely. You can see there's a lot of friction. There. I wish there was like, I thought for sure there might be a way to like maybe disengage it so that like, it spins freely, but it does not. Also because these tires though, and these little, these little wheels right here, he can, well, still roll, you know, cause that's what helicopters do. But yeah, also again, you know, in this mode, you got bits of detail. You got this like silvery striping. I'm not sure why you can see it, but there's silver striping right there on the roof there. You have this bit right here, gunmetal and silver right here and all the windows on the cockpit, all that stuff. Uh, of course, yeah, the ro this rotor can spin as well, which is nice. Um, yeah, he looks generally really good in this uh, mode right here. Um, of course, for the uh, other accessories, of course, you can uh, peg these on however you want. You know, the like the guns can you know peg on right on the sides here for like you know for weaponry, all that stuff. Uh, the as for the cage and stuff, well, these you need to. As for the cage, yeah, you need to, uh, the only way to attach it is to the bottom, you know? So, like, 
Yeah, so it's a cool a cool thing. Like the problem is you can't have them displayed like this, at least not easily. Which is yeah, there's there's a peg hole right here, and you just peg this in and uh, gotta unwind it a little bit more. Yeah, peg this in right here, and now you know yeah, you have the whole thing where it's like you know you can kind of lower raise and lower the cage, kind of like a rescue type of thing, you know that sort of thing. Only problem is yeah, when you got the cage attached, it makes it a little different, more difficult to uh, display them. Although you can just do that, but yeah, um, that's kind of neat. You know, you can that's just. You know that that that's a that's a little accessory you can do just kind of having a little cage. There's not much I can think you can in like transformers wise that can fit in this thing, particularly since you know there's no like get bars. It's like it's not it's not so much a cage so much as like a carry and caddy. Like you know you slip the person in there and like you know, carry them to safety. You're like I don't know, actually, not much can fit in there though. At least uh, not that I can think of like micro masters. Sure, and like you know say maybe a tight master. Got that light in there. And hey look, and I was like, <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> But yeah, uh, that's kind of the idea. So that's that's pretty neat. But yeah, I just kind of I really like this color copter mode a lot. And uh, this I think this is like a really good mode. This is the one I think that feel like they uh, really focused on when it came to the two alt modes between the two. But yeah, I think it just looks really good overall. I just really like this helicopter mode and uh, all that. And also the transformations. It's kind of simple, but also pretty clever for the most part. Um, the only thing maybe is like the wheels here it can be easy to forget which one goes where on the back side here. If you do it the wrong way, they'll be all not sitting straight or anything. But yeah, overall, I think the the transformations are both are all uh, pretty straightforward and you know they're fun. He's a fun he's a fun figure. He's overall a very fun figure. But uh, yeah, I guess some um, comparisons real quick. Here's Springer in his helicopter mode, which, you know, I always, like I've always said, I was like helicopters, you know, unfortunately his has the free spinning, free spinning rotor, but yeah. You know, they got all that stuff. So there's two different helicopters right there. Here's Octane in his plane mode, which, yeah, man. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> boy, it, that is, if you want to talk about compromise alt modes, <laughs> that thing right there. And also speaking of a compromise alt modes, here's a Blitzwing in uh, his uh, alt mode. I think I mostly got it right. <laughs> Almost like it's a part of me that I stopped, kind of stopped caring in the middle, like partway through when I'm like, oh yeah, this is what the jet mode looks like. <laughs> Almost start stopped caring right there. Yeah, there you go. And because I got him here, why not? Here's again, here's Arthrize Optimus. Who does not have a flying mode of any sort. At least this Optimus. There's others that do. <laughs> yeah. So that is uh, Sandstorm. He again, he's a leader class, so that means he's fifty five dollars, at least U.S. I think he's worth it personally, but a lot are going to disagree. Just on, I guess there's a sheer principle of he's not big enough, which I don't know. I find his engineering really nice. He's a nice, solid figure. He's there's not a lot of there's not really any hollowness on him. The transformation is really fun. I think both modes, um, the Dune mode buggy is a little bit compromised, but it still looks pretty good. Or overall, um, the helicopter is a smidge compromised, but still, I think it looks really good. Yeah, I think the, the helicopter is the best of the two, better of the two alt modes. Uh, the, the, the robot mode looks, I think it looks great. I know some people don't like the the face sculpt they use instead. You know, they use the t um, toy instead of the tune style. Personally, I don't mind because I'm not really super attached to Sandstorm as a character. I just think it's a cool looking robot. Yeah, I just think he looks cool. I think he, I think he fill, and of course the accessories help fill out his price point a little bit. I think he's fun. It's just genuinely a fun toy, and I can see where the money went for the engineering. So, I personally feel like I got my money's worth out of my 55, but some others may disagree. You know, if you do, you might want to wait for it to go on sale or something. There's how you go on that. My, I personally recommend him. But, you know, you may, may have seen this guy. Nah, I'll wait till he drops to like $30. Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my uh, social media down in the description and at the end of the video. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. I shall see you next time with another video review. Bye.